Hey, good morning there, Chris. Uh, it is beautiful indeed. It's a good morning and a good morning to send the kids back to school. I'm sure a lot of parents uh, feel that way uh, this morning, and I really don't see any issues. Uh, however, kids are getting back out there, whether it's uh, walking, they're taking their bicycle, catching the bus train, getting dropped off uh, by mom or dad. The only, I guess, weather impact might be the temperatures. Want to show you what we've got here on the Upper West Side. Our mobile weather lab is set up, and you know all things considered not a bad number when you got mid 60s it is cooler other areas though so keep that in mind northwest suburbs you're talking more 50s some of you in the 40s day planner spells out what's in store for the day ahead it's a cool calm comfortable morning but it doesn't take long set up around 6 30 and off we go it's another one of those days chasing 77 for a high can be a few extra puppy clouds what you saw yesterday but they're benign not really a rain chance today uh, just kind of hovering overhead look at those highs today very similar to yesterday almost a carbon copy slightly more humidity and probably won't notice it okay so it may just feel these make these numbers feel a little bit warmer but all things considered high pressure the name of the game it's why our weather pattern is dry the rain gear still collecting dust another day system off the Carolina coast at one point was looking like it could lead to some wet weather for us now it should stay far enough away. I know Hurricane Center watching it for low end possible development. Our next system brewing out there across the Midwest likely gets here by Saturday afternoon. So John really looks like the only hiccup in an otherwise lovely stretch of weather. I know you've got much more on that as you check in on those weather watchers this morning. Hey John. Yeah that one hiccup this weekend and Tony it's a long stretch of nice weather. So appreciate that. Appreciate the weather watchers. Yeah I mean it's chilly north and west for school kids there and some cool pockets of Jersey as well. Always that interesting variety Jersey Shore and out on the island. So let's have fun with pictures. Are you guys the best or what? It is cheese pizza day. Yes, it is cheese pizza day. Thanks, Elena. And this is kind of an odd way. I don't know what that means, but it's cheese pizza day. I'm a little cheesy. Don't be chicken. It's be late for something day. How ironic that it's also first day of school. We were talking about 74 Cadillacs. I believe Michael sent in a 64 Cadillac. Wow, you guys react to the best. Hey, this is a picture from last night in Bridgeport. It was uh, James Taylor in concert. He has another concert tonight, and it's going to be great for that concert. And also, I mentioned the Hoboken Italian Festival kicks underway tonight. That music as well. So, I mean, we've got great weather for school, for venues, after school, for the big kids too. And we're still in summer. Fall is still 17 days away. But the chilly temperatures this morning are reminding you, yeah, fall is coming. Here's another interesting thing we've been tracking. Pollen is actually getting a little bit better. I hope you're doing better. So we still have moderate conditions, but the numbers, if you compare the components of the count, are down. One thing that's important to remind you, even though this isn't technically a big beach day, any day at the beach is still a great day. Let's be careful, though. Dangerous rip currents. I'm glad Tony brought up the system that's hugging the coast of the Carolinas. That is going to stir up our seas. We won't see any rain out of it, but there's energy. So watch for red flags over the next few days as we, you know, encourage you to still enjoy the beach. I wanted to check out the European model. The European model has been a little bit more aggressive with the solution for Friday into Saturday. It wants to bring in a little bit more shower activity on Friday. I think that's overstated. We have a lot of dry air to overcome. And now you can see that that coastal system just racing up the coast, but it can't break through because there's energy leaving the states with this front. This is now Saturday afternoon and then Saturday night. We see those showers and then that long stretch that Tony was talking about. I mean, look at this. It's just after Saturday's hiccup, we see slightly warmer numbers next week, but it looks like a relatively quiet period over the next few days. So uh, again, enjoy today. Get ready for a real nice day and a little hiccup on Saturday.